right. Looks like everything is up and running, which is a good sign. All right, it's been a while since I've done this. I'm trying to like go through my little checklist in my head, make sure I did everything right. Pretty sure the stream title is updated. Updated the game. I'm willing to bet that the audio is working. And I think we're good. So, anyway, my name's Awaken Cloud. You can just call me Cloud or Awaken or whatever. And we are going to start the Forgotten City, which very interesting game. Um, this started out as a Skyrim mod, but um, kind of became its own thing at some point. It is very not a Skyrim type of game. Don't expect that much action, but. Um, Kind of continuing with our little story thing we've been doing on Sundays. This kind of, um, you know, this is more in that ilk, so to speak. And I'm going to go ahead and read the disclaimer on the right. Please, please help us avoid spoilers. Dear content creators, as you'll discover, this game is full of intrigue and plot twists. Please give your audience a spoiler warning before sharing content from beyond the white hallway. So that interested players can fully enjoy the experience for themselves if they wish to. Sincerely, the Modern Storyteller Team. Okay, so with that being said, let me make sure my tags have no spoilers and no back seatings. Can I not just tap my... Oh, uh, Twitch on mobile has just gotten so bad. I can't do anything. Let me... Retry. No spoilers, no backseating English. And now because I'm paranoid about Twitch chat just messing up. Nope, doesn't look like I've had any chat interactions. So I think we're good to go. We're going to hit this new game button and see what happens. I really don't know anything about this. Aside from it apparently being pretty good. This game was developed by a core team of three people over four years. Okay. This is a mystery adventure with multiple endings. It rewards thoughtful conversation exploration, not brute force. The fate of the city is in your hands. Present day. <laughs> hey! You're alive! When I dragged you out of the river, I thought you were never gonna wake up. I checked your pockets for ID, a phone, maybe. I hope you don't mind. But all I found was some loose change. Speaking of phones, my phone's so, in the way. Wanna tell me who you are? Stranger. Wait, what the heck? Okay, I'll I'll be a dude this time. And uh, hmm. Name. I'm going to go with Theo. Well, it's nice it's to nice meet to you. Meet you. And, and I'm sorry I'm to sorry. pry, but. Any idea why you were floating down the river? What's the last thing you remember? I was searching for ancient ruins. I was on a covert mission. I was on the run from the law. I barely remember anything. So, insights into the ancient world. Military issued firearm, but only 10 bullets. Jeez. Um. Your time on the run from authorities has made you quick on your feet and you're 25% faster when sprinting. Your recent head trauma was has increased your pain threshold, making you 50% harder to take down. Oh, you're an archaeologist? Then you'll definitely want to hear this. I don't know if it's exactly what you're looking for, but there are some ruins just behind you. Roman, I think. 
I need you to go in there and see if you can find a guy named Al for me. He went in there a few hours ago, and he hasn't come out. I've been oh, that is out. super laggy. Trapped or injured or We're going to fix that. I would have gone in after him, but he made me promise to stay here, no matter what. There's no way I'm leaving without him. So I'm just kind of stuck here, waiting. I need... What I mean is, I was hoping you wouldn't mind going in there to find him. If you can do that, I can get both of you back to civilization in my boat. Please? So I gotta... So when the game's not running, it's fine, but when the game starts running, the actual green screen stuff chugs. So... I could run the game at a lower res, and that would probably fix it. Or I could get rid of the green screen. I think we're just going to take the path of least resistance today, get rid of the green screen, not worry about it. Yeah. Oh, of course. Sorry, I don't mean to be pushy. I just... What do you want to know? Yo. What's oh, your story? There's not much to tell. Feels like I've spent my whole life in a dead-end job with an endless commute. Know what I mean? Oh, uh, I'd rather not say if it's all the same to you. Well, that's going to be relevant at some point. All right, fine. Sorry if I sounded cagey, it's just that I don't always get the best reactions when I introduce myself. My name's Karen. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, something like that. But right now, I have bigger problems, like finding Al. He's the guy who washed up on the riverbank not long before you did. I thought maybe you two knew each other. I guess not. But maybe the two of you can piece together what you're doing here. In any case, you'll like him, I'm sure. Once you find him, that is. Where was he last seen? And more importantly, where are we? You really don't remember? We're in Italy. This river is the Tiber. Not much, really. But imagine what you might find in there. Priceless ancient artifacts. Al. What am I, an idiot? You could hike a long, long way in any direction and never find another soul. Trust me. Okay, I guess that's all the questions I had. Great. So you're ready to go look for Al? Thank you. The entrance is just past those columns behind you. Please, hurry. Oh, and he left this here. But I think you'll need it more than I will. This seems like a setup. A flashlight? Oh, gosh. Yeah, putting this game on... Drop it down to 1440. I think we can keep it at epic if we do that. Hopefully everything looks good in the stream. Use the left D-pad to lower the flashlight. Also a book bag right here. 
A backpack full of worn hiking clothes and empty food packets. Nothing of value here, but still. It seems strange that Al left it behind. If you're reading this, it means I've discovered the entrance to an ancient Roman city hidden deep underground. Its existence is long. Oh, what? Okay, let me not drown here. Is long forgotten. All knowledge of it lost. Except in the Latin inscription here. It reads, You who wish to enter the city, step forth and be judged. The virtuous shall be rewarded with eternal life in paradise. The wicked shall find themselves showered in gold, but in vain. For this shall be their final resting place. Could an underground city have remained a secret for all this time? Could people have survived down there against the odds? Seems there's only one way to find out. If I'm not back in an hour, I'm somewhere on the other side. Consider this an invitation or a warning. Al Worth. Pro Piccata Beans. Well, I'm not even going to pretend to read that. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. A Roman gladiator mid stride. What could have made the gladiator flee? A young Roman woman it looks like she was begging for her life. So all these people got turned to gold. But why? A Roman military commander attempting to scramble away from something. Well, the fact that he's facing this direction, and this guy's facing this direction, means it had to be something that happened, like, probably right here. I had to guess. A Roman legionary in a state of terror. Roman woman who appears to be praying for the help that never came. To whoever reads this, I'm sorry you had to find me like this. And worse, that you'll suffer the same fate I did. I've spent a lifetime in this place, going around and around in circles, searching for a way out. Oh. The inscription was right. There is no way back. And here there are only two options. Death, and that godforsaken doorway into the past. I made the mistake of stepping through it. I wanted to set things right. And I tried. I really tried. Whatever I did, took me right back to the beginning. Don't make the same mistake. Better to end it all now and find out what awaits you beyond that portal. The golden statue of an old man wearing modern clothing. This must be Al. But how is that possible? The 
up on this last person right here. A Roman man on his knees is begging for his God to, for mercy. So one thing, both of the praying people were looking towards that tower. So once we get to what I assume is the ancient city, that's going to be one of the first places I go. Probably important. friend. I'm Galerius. Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the Shrine of Proserpina? Um... Are you speaking? Uh, what? I'm speaking Latin. You are too, although your accent's a little strange. Oh, I see what you did there. Changing the subject like that. Nice try. But I'll ask again. Who are you? And what were you doing in the shrine? Yeah, you know. Agricultural goddess of springtime? You're not from around here, are you? And you've just done it again. You're a sly one, aren't you? One more time. Who are you and what were you doing in that shrine? Is that right? Well, just make sure you don't get lost in any other sacred places you're not supposed to be. Can't have you disrespecting the gods by accident, can we now? But listen, most folks seem a bit confused when they get here, but you... you seem very lost, and in more ways than one. So let me make this nice and simple for you. Live by our law here, and we'll all get along just fine. Not laws, law. There's just one, the golden rule. And the punishment for breaking it's... Well, it's kind of horrific. But our magistrate insists we take all newcomers to see him. So I guess I'll let him fill you in. So then, are you coming? Follow me. When I first arrived, I couldn't believe there were people living down here. But, as you can see, we've got a nice little community now. Only 23 of us at the moment, if you count the three who are missing. No idea how, since nobody knows a way out. But it's just big and dark enough to get lost in, if you're not careful. Aren't you going to introduce me to your handsome new friend, Galerius? Keep it in your loincloth, Aurelia. I'm taking him to see the magistrate. That pompous old whore won't be magistrate. Because the for much longer. Anyone who helps vote him out. That seems to have made things worse. My bar for free tonight. Uh, politics. I'd stay clear of it and her if I were you. She's. Uh, it's not my place to say. Down on your right is our farm, where I grow all the food you'll ever want. As long as all you want is leek, cabbage, and wheat. Huh. That one usually gets a chuckle. The bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Ah, don't mind Livia. She means well. She's just been in a bad place since... Well, you know, I don't know what happened to her. Up here on your right is the chasm. If you've got a weapon, it belongs way down at the bottom. Up on your left is the forum, where you can visit the market or get yourself patched up in Lucretia's clinic in the Shrine of Apollo. Most of us have almost nothing, just what we had on us when we arrived, and what we've been able to make and scrounge up since. And this Those gold statues are talking to me. where the magistrate and the other patricians live, so don't expect a warm welcome. Galerius, you're meant to be working the farm, not trudging dirt into the village. 
Take it easy, Horatius. I was just taking our new friend here to see the Magistrate. Well, he's asked me to escort the newcomer personally. The farm. Go. Now. You'd better go with him. But just remember, they're not like you and me. Don't let them use you. What was that? What did you just say? Uh, I said it'll take some getting used to. Yeah, I'm watching you, farm boy. Greetings, <laughs> citizen. My name's Horatius. Magistrate Sentius asked me to escort you to him personally. Follow me, please. Eh? Follow me. The only thing you really need to understand right now is the golden rule. Let me see if I can explain it this way. When I was serving in the Legion, if there was a mutiny brewing in one cohort, the legate in charge wouldn't waste time finding the bad apples among hundreds. They just divided us into groups of ten, made us draw straws, and whoever drew the short straw had to be executed by the other nine. Didn't matter whether he'd done anything wrong. One of us in ten would die for the crimes of the Collective. We call it decimation. If that seems like rough justice to you, you're in for a rude shock. Because the golden rule is exactly ten times worse. The magistrate oh. can explain the rest. So if one is person dies, nice? ten people die. We're finally alone. I assume you already know who I am. May I know your name? A curious Eo. name. To match a curious accent. But I digress. I see you have the piercing and astute eyes of a man of great learning. We're always happy to welcome another scholar to our little community. Equitia will be delighted to meet you, I'm sure. Now, you're probably wondering why I summoned you, and... So I, I am wondering why? First, take a look at this wondrous place, would you? A secret city built deep in the mountains many hundreds of years ago. Indeed. More importantly, consider the miraculous community we've built here over the last seven months. Twenty-two complete strangers brought together by the fates living and working together in our own little paradise. And in all that time, not a single sin has been committed. No fights, no theft, nothing. Have you ever witnessed something so extraordinary as a city without sin? Nor could I until I came here. But the reason for this, this miracle is as simple as it is terrifying. If even one person commits a sin here, every last one of us will die. You see, the builders of this place, whoever they were, left inscriptions warning, the many shall suffer for the sins of the one. From what we can gather, breaking the law here will anger the gods and provoke a terrible punishment. Like the curses of Medusa and Midas combined, turning us all to gold. We've come to call it the Golden Rule. Uh, I like that. that. I like we've survived that. survived as long as we have, and each day I grow more and more afraid that our time in the sun is almost up. And now it seems that day is finally here. All that matters is that somebody in this city is about to break the Golden Rule. Why else would Proserpina send you now? Unless you and I can stop them, our doom is assured. I know that's a lot to take in, and you look like you have questions. Please, ask away. There is a guy named Al.
intelligent question. There was a good deal of debate about that in our first weeks here. Does it refer to crimes or to some other ill-defined wrong? Of course, everyone agrees on the basics. No theft, no assault, and certainly no murder. But beyond that, it was more difficult to reach a consensus. What about lying, insulting someone, blasphemy, trespass, trying to escape, bribery, infidelity, suicide? As magistrate, I had to exercise leadership, and so I made a decision. We must uphold the laws of the Empire to a standard never before seen. And we must honor the peace of the gods, the sacred accord between the gods and the people of Rome. It is only by offering the gods the proper respect that we may prosper, as Rome has for centuries. Sorry. Apparently the camera isn't working very well. Like, any time I swap off of the game, it's perfectly fine. But the second I jump back into the game... It's really dumb. Um... Okay. Gotta do some sandy test here. That worked fine. Forgive me as I... Back to the game. I'm also going to minimize this. I don't think there's any benefit of me getting that. One second. We're busting out the webcam. Okay. Doing that. Um, give me one moment as I set up all this stuff. Hopefully the camera's back to working. It is only by... Barbaric? Barbaric? What are you talking about? The Empire is the most civilizing force in the known world. Rome is a beacon of light in the darkness. For 800 years, she has borne great statesmen, philosophers, poets, artists, and engineers. We have comprehensive laws protecting the rights of our citizens, which have unified countless warring tribes all across the Mediterranean and beyond, from Gallia to Judea. All our citizens are treated the same, regardless of the color of their skin or their sexual preference. Can you say the same? When our people are starving, they are given food rations. And when they are wronged, they have the right to bring the guilty party before the magistrate. Our laws forbid treason, murder, assault and rape, as well as theft and arson and so on. No other civilization in the oh, world is so advanced, and you have the, the hubris to call us barbarians. Bro, are you going to kill me? Okay. Sorry. I am... So... Of course, everything's moving slow. I'm wondering if this has to do with the game or it has to do with OBS. It's so hard for me to tell. Or it could just be... Let me exit my own stream. Start it back up. 
We'll see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and close this as well. I'm not using it. And sorry, technical difficulties. Okay. Hopefully that got us a little bit of our um, bandwidth back. On occasion, but our gladiators are almost all volunteers seeking glory, or condemned prisoners who would have been executed anyway. I do not see the harm. Also, Trunks, who would have thought that I did a, I would do a um, Skyrim stream? Of course. What else would we do with those prisoners of war who would otherwise have been executed? And besides, there are laws for their protection as well. With fewer rights come fewer responsibilities and the right to be protected by their fathers and husbands. You know, this is really pointless talking to this guy about all this stuff. Well, right now, you're a long, long way from home. I have made my pronouncement on the subject. Unfortunately, there are still those here who resist whispering blasphemous and treasonous lies in the shadows. I would be keeping a close eye on them if I were you. You see, in my search for a way to save my people, I learned of an ancient ritual to Proserpina, the goddess of the cycle of life and renewal. It's said to open a doorway in time. So you're the one that opened the rift. If unthinkable happens, one person can pass through it and travel back. To the past. And when I saw you arrive in a flash of light from the goddess's shrine, I knew that person was you. You don't belong in our time, do you? Two thousand years? That is unfathomable. Please tell me, in your time, what did you see? What had become oh. of us, of this city? I have imagined it, our downfall, a thousand times. But it still breaks my heart to hear the truth of it. How does a ritual work? What I can tell you is that it's a ritual sacrifice to Proserpina. I stumbled across instructions. I have to recite a prayer, and of course, as with all rituals, some sacrifice is involved. Usually that means wine or food, or in some cases, a live animal. In this Are case, humans animals in this case? Rather more costly. The life of the person performing the ritual. I don't suppose you saw any sign of me? Bro, I'm future. from 2,000 years in the future. I assume that was me. If I'm forced to perform the ritual, it's going to cost me everything. You'll try to make sure I don't need to use it, won't you? Well, I suppose that's all I can ask for. Do you have any suspects? Why can't you... I might as well ask him everything. Well, I believe you're in the best position to go around asking people questions. You're new here, and it'll seem perfectly normal. As for me, well, it pains me to say my attempts to impose order have not earned me many friends. I fear I may not even remain magistrate after today's election. The people here would only treat my curiosity with suspicion. You shouldn't have that problem, though. Unless, of course, you get off on the wrong foot. Fair enough. Do you have any suspects? Do you ever stare at a problem for so long that you can't see it for what it is anymore? What's needed here is a fresh pair of eyes. The less I prejudice the independence of your investigation, the better. Me? 
Why would you suspect me? I've just told you, I'm about to sacrifice my own life to ensure these people have a second chance. What reason could you possibly have to suspect me of all people? Fair point. How do you think so? Without trust, without each other, we won't be able to prevent what is about to happen. I don't think he's as good as he claims to be, but... If I understand Persephone's ritual correctly, that problem should take care of itself. Let me see if I can explain. If you manage to prevent the sin that breaks the golden rule, I won't need to bring you here. I won't create the portal, and you will never have been able to come here. Thus, you have created a paradox. If this occurs, you should be flung back to your own time, having changed the past for all of us. Makes sense? Sure, why not? <laughs> That's all the questions I had. Ah, good. So, are you with me? Can I count on you to figure out who's about to break the golden rule? Doesn't seem like I have much choice, to be honest. I'm hoping that even if you're not burdened with a sense of self-sacrifice, you'll at least see the sense in self-preservation. Wonderful. Now, I need you to investigate the city, talk to everyone, help them, if it will win their trust. I authorize you to enter private homes and inspect possessions and documents, unless, of course, you're asked to leave. Figure out who the culprit is, and as soon as you have a name, come back and tell me immediately. So there's only one culprit. And one last thing. Allegedly. If I were you, I'd start my investigation by visiting Lucretia at the Shrine of Apollo in the Forum. Lucretia, Shrine of Apollo. Ago, seems like something's not right. Do I have a map? Oh, I just want to get back to regular. Horatius would stop letting barbarians in here. What do you want? I'm Sentia, eldest daughter of the Magistrate. But you'd know that if you'd been invited in here and introduced properly. What are you doing in here? And why are you dressed Bro, like your dad asked. Charming. I'll be I trust going. you can see yourself out. Quest tracking tip. To see the objective marker for a given quest, click the eye icon beside it. So this is a very Majora's Mask S type of problem. What Having a limited amount of time to out? figure something out. Don't play dumb. I saw you. Having a shady little chat with old man Sentius up on his balcony. What's he offering your business? You? Money? Favors? What's your vote worth to him? What's it worth to you? Of a fauna career. We've lined up all the votes we need already. Mark my, my words, Maliolus is going to be magistrate by the end of the day. 
And if I tell him you sided with that feeble old has-been, that you've been trying to undermine his hard-won victory, you'll have picked the wrong patron. Got it? I don't want any trouble. Good. Then stay out of it. Like that, dude. Isn't Fear the great is proof of a degenerate system. mind. A new face. Are they? And may Vesta watch over you. I'm Equitia. To what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? What's your story? Do you know a way out of here? What do you think about the golden rule? What's the status of the election? Um, what's your story? Oh my, I take it people are quite direct where you're from. I suppose it's quite charming in its own way. Usually, however, you wouldn't simply march up to a vestal priestess and without due formality or courtesy ask, what is your story? The proper approach would be to arrange an introduction through a mutual acquaintance in high office, by which time you would already know how to address me. That's and a lot of work. You would find a way to satisfy your curiosity rather more indirectly. But to be honest, I've often thought what an unnecessarily formal way to communicate that is. So let's do it your way. You just keep being yourself and ask whatever you like. It'll be a refreshing change. I. What's a Vestal? Yeah. You really don't know. You are from far away, aren't you? Well, I am one of the priestesses charged with keeping the sacred flame in Rome's shrine of Vesta burning. I take it you know who Vesta is? Mm, remind me. Vesta is the mother goddess of hearth and home and the guardian of the Roman people. Okay. What do you do here? Put simply, I tend to the temples, ensure their sanctity is preserved. Why? So that we continue to honor our gods, invite their blessings, and not bring their wrath down upon us, of course. It's vital that we keep them appeased and remain in their good graces. Mm, what's the status of the election? It must be completed by dusk, just the same as any other official business. It'll be between Sentius, the incumbent, and Maliolus, the challenger. Why do you ask? Just curious. What's your role in the election? I'm responsible for announcing it and making sure the procedures are followed. Okay. You can. Assuming they're eligible and willing to accept the nomination. All of the male citizens who are willing and able to attend. Unless so only the males forced. can vote. Well, you're not a citizen yet. So, no, I'm afraid not. But if it's any consolation, there are other ways to influence the outcome of an election. Influence? By using whatever gifts the gods gave you. Nothing untoward, of course. As I said, I'm planning to hold it before dusk. But I suppose I could hold it sooner, if there's a good reason. Never mind. We're going to hold on to that one. I'm sure that will come into play at some point. See you again soon, I hope. What now? Oh, let's see. Um, who are you going to vote for? Not that it's any of your business, but my loyalty is and always will be with Sentius. Unfortunately, I don't think my vote is going to make any difference today. See, Domitius has been going around town, shoring up votes for Maliolus with lies, bribery, and intimidation. The so, man's a savage. Domitius. But he's a gladiator. So people fear and respect him more than they should. Sentius knows about it, of course. But he doesn't have the same rat cunning as Maliolus. This place will be different with that sleaze at the helm. 
But I try not to worry about things I can't change. I appreciate the thought. But you're new here. And I just can't see how you could make an impact in the time between now and the election this afternoon. In any case, if you're interested in the election, go and have a chat with Equitia, the Vestal Priestess. She'll be overseeing proceedings. Figure out how to make Malios drop out of the election. Okay. Um, what can you tell me about the magistrate? One of the better commanders I've ever had. That's for sure. Good stoic. Lives by Seneca's words. Treat your inferior as you would wish your superior to treat you. Can't ask for much more than that. I'm a legionary of the first Italica, but there's not a lot of fighting down here. So the magistrate has assigned me other duties. I act as the magistrate's right-hand man, keeping an eye on his daughters. Uh, daughter, I should say. And the others. And making sure they're all behaving. What happened I to the other daughter? The register of new arrivals. I'm from Liguria. Because there is clearly country. more than one at one point. I was doing all right for myself. Twelve years into my service. Had a nice girl lined up for when it was all over. Not anymore. She's probably figured I'm long gone and moved on by now. I try not to think about it. My commander sent me to deliver a message to Rome. While I was there, I thought I'd do something nice for my girl. And pick up a little pendant from a silversmith. That's when the crowd started flooding through the streets. Shouting fire. People were screaming, trampling each other. Then some Genetricum future chill tried to take advantage of the chaos and pinch my pendant. I remember chasing him through the crowds, down towards the river. And then, nothing. Blacked out and woke up near here. No idea how I ended up floating so far down river. But, I'm fortunate to be alive, I suppose. Sorry to hear that. As Seneca the Younger said, difficulty strengthen the mind as labor does the body. That said, Centilla's disappearance has been more difficult than I'd care to admit. What do you think about the Golden Rule? I haven't asked anybody about this yet. Also, can I see the Sis and register? I don't see why not. Just make sure I get it back by tomorrow. Okay. A register of each person in the city in alphabetical order. So we have Aurelia, Claudia, Theseus, Domiticus. I'm going to do this in reading mode. Theseus, Domiticus, Duilius, Quidia, Fabia, Galeria. Georgius, Hannibal, Horatius, Kabash, Julia, Livia, Lucretia, Maliolus, Navia, Octavia, Ruf Rufius, Cynthia, Scintilla. He's missing as well. Let's see. Antius, Ulpius, Virgil. Is there anybody else that's missing? Rufius is increasingly agitated. Kabosh has also disappeared. Hannibal died in Cistern. Eurelia claims to know a way out. Of course. Well, as I always say, it's kind of like a divine version of the practice of decimation in the Legion. By threatening to execute one in ten men, the idea is to ensure order and discipline among everyone. And it works. If you knew you could be executed because your brother in arms is planning a mutiny, well, You'd bloody well watch him like Hundred-Eyed Argus, wouldn't you? Because your only chance of saving yourself is to stop bad things before they happen. Makes us all responsible for keeping each other in check. It's, it's an interesting concept. Course, but effective. 
Legion wouldn't be the most formidable force in the world without it. A war cry? Isn't that a contradiction in terms? As Cicero said, in times of war, the law falls silent. Seems that way. War crimes. Ridiculous. What's done is done. I was forced to execute my brothers in arms, Ooh. and those memories will always visit me in my sleep. But life is harsh, and I've come to accept my lot. As with the Golden Roll, I don't have any control over it. So railing against it would be like trying to stop the seasons or the tides. As Seneca the Younger wrote, True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. Not to amuse ourselves with either hopes or fears, but to rest satisfied with what we have, which is sufficient for he that is so wants nothing. Let's talk about something else, like me leaving. All right, let's go to the shrine before anybody does get murdered. Ooh, this person is already gold. Is that a problem? Am I too late? Give me a moment. Sorry I'm such a mess. I just lost a patient and a dear friend. Julia. Julia. She was a good woman. She was poisoned. She came in here oh, forcing crap, her Oh, crap, she's already dead. Normally, I'd treat her with resin of sylphium, a rare plant which is perfect for this sort of thing. And I knew Dacius had some at his market stall, right around the corner. So I ran over there, but he just looks at me with this evil smile and says, That'll be a thousand denarii. There was no way I could afford that, and he knew it. Then that toad shrugs and says, Supply and demand. I guess you don't value your friend's life that highly. Anywhere else, I'd just pay a thug to steal it from his stall. But there's no way I can do that down here with the golden rule. But I can do it. All I could do is come back here and just watch her die. I kept on apologizing. And now I'll never know who poisoned her. Or how they managed to do it without breaking the golden rule. Or why she cursed that snake's cruel black eyes with her dying breath. Well, unless you have the power to bring someone back from the dead, there's really just one thing you can do. Get me that sylphium resin. I'm going to have another patient in here soon. Could be in the next day or in the next hour. And I will not allow this to happen again. I don't care how you get it, but you have to make it happen. Because if I lose another patient this way, I swear to the gods below, not even the golden rule will stop me from marching up to that genetric comfort to and scratching his eyes out. Huh. At some point, I think we're going to get a translation of what whatever that is, is. Also, quick check over here. Sanity check to make sure. Um, God, everything is just not working right right now. I think we're good. I'll get right to it. I'll see what I can do. Well, Might as well get right to it. If you get sick or injured, day or night, I'll do what I can. May Apollo keep you safe. I don't see anything out of the ordinary here. Simple recipe for making bread. A lot of good that'll do. Well, I say that, but 
I might have to make somebody bread because they're probably hungry and will die of hunger at some point. Wonder how much one of these statues is worth on the outside. Salve, stranger, and welcome to our idyllic little slice of the Empire. I'm Dacius. Terrible shame what happened to Yulia, but we just have to carry on, don't we? So, Trunks, this is actually... It's not Skyrim, but this game started out as a Skyrim mod. It's called The Forgotten City, and it's a very interesting premise. Um, I forget if you've played Majora's Mask or not, but essentially... This is another time loop type of game where essentially I washed up in a river alongside another guy. Other guy left We're trying to find the other guy. We end up going through a portal, takes us back to ancient Rome. Ancient Rome, this version of it, has what they call a golden rule. If any, the city is sin sinless, so no sins are committed in the city. But the reason that is, is because if one sin does get committed, essentially the leader dude has to do this thing where um, he opens the portal, but it kills everybody in the city. So my goal is to make sure nobody commits a sin and a sin is about to happen. I just have to figure out how to stop it. You mean how did I end up here? That is a lengthy tale. It's here. All right. Well, you see, I'm in the business of procuring rare and precious objects liberated from the enemies of Rome. Mostly sculptures, vases, the occasional slave, fetch a magnificent price in Roman high society, have myself a nice little shop in Rome just off the Forum, lots of foot traffic and close to the docks. Good place to be when the fires broke out. So I'm going to have to get this guy a base or something. Half of Rome caught on fire. Everyone who couldn't get to an outer gate was running for the river, hoping to escape by a barge. So I gathered my coins and some priceless vases into a cart and had my most loyal slave girl, pretty young thing named Acantha, push it for me. A All camper. the way down to the river, I'm elbowing for a stampede of people, turning back now and then to make sure she hasn't legged it with my valuables. But, to my surprise, we make it, and I see this barge loading up, and it's so full it's almost sinking. But the captain's happy to take my coin. So I start boarding, and then he puts his hand on my chest and he says, no, too heavy. The cart or the girl. So I did what anyone would have done. Of course I chose the cart. I mean, I can always buy a new slave girl if I still have my money. So I put my hand on the cart, and I guess she realized what was happening because those pretty black eyes of hers go all wide. And in one swift motion, she topples the whole bloody thing into the Tiber. I think I see where this is going. Naturally, I dived in after it, hoping to salvage my fortune. Only, I guess I must have hit my head or something, because everything went black. When I came to, I'd washed up on the riverbank, not far from here, with nothing in the world but a single silver coin. Thank you, friend. But it turns out it might have been a stroke of good fortune, because this place is a veritable treasure trove. Look around you, there must be more gold in here than in the treasury of Rome. If I can just figure out how to get it out of here. So is this guy not from... Hmm. I wasn't paying as close attention as I should have to his story. Certainly. All I ask is a reasonable price of a thousand denarii. Oh, it's perfectly legal. Simply a question of supply and demand, I'm afraid. Take it or leave it. Okay. Here what? Ah, uh, you sure you're feeling all right? If you're hearing things, perhaps you should pay a visit to Lucretia's clinic. We don't want another Navia on our hands. What happened to Navia? She claimed the statue was a whispering to her. Nobody else could hear it. Then she shut herself in the palace and we never heard from her again. So I need to talk to Navia. Do you want this Sylphium or not? That's hardly my concern. But if you get a job, work hard, and save your coins, you should be able to afford it within, say, five years. It's really interesting. Like, this game was very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Critically acclaimed. So, I decided I might as well give it a shot. And it's got me captivated. Like, I'm still pretty early on, but I'm, you know, 
really thinking about who would have done it, even though I've only met probably about six people, and I think there's a total of 27 people, they said, in this city. Very well. Perhaps I can interest you in something within your budget? Okay. Very well. Another time. We'll be back. Bottle of Silphium resin, an extremely valuable ancient Roman remedy for various afflictions. Not going to steal it, because I know the golden rule. Um... Help! You have to do something! A man arrived in the baths, a real nasty sort, with his face all covered up, and he's got a weapon! You have to do something, or he's going to break the golden rule! Who are you first? And now's not the time. Fabio. Are you okay. going to help or not? Thank you. He's still in there somewhere. I have to hide. Find me in this empty shrine when it's over. Hear what? What? We don't have time for this. I have to go. The shrine is collapsing. Oh. Well, Fabia, no. Oh, God, she's dead. Did anyone see that? The whole shrine just collapsed on her. Oh, Fabia, why did you have to go in there? Poor sweet girl. I can't believe she is dead. Fabia, I mean. Now, why would she that collapse like that? Shrine, and the next moment she is lying dead under a pile of rubble. The gods are cruel and unjust. She was like a daughter to me. I'm sorry, friends. It's not right for me to lay my burden upon you. I not? Do you have nothing else to say for yourself? I can't believe she is dead. Fabia, the god. Well. That one voice in my head said no. Stop right there. I am looking for Tiberius Quinctius Crispus, otherwise known as Quinctius. Do you know where he is? I'm not sure I believe that, so allow me to explain something to you. I am here with orders from Emperor Nero himself to find and execute the cultist Quinctius for terrible crimes against the Empire. Well, so I honestly don't have any problem with you executing a cultist. I will allow you to live, but if you lie to me or otherwise obstruct the Emperor's business in any way, I will put this arrow through your chest. Is that understood? Got it. I s got it. Thank you. Now tell me, who are you people, and what is this place? A small community. <laughs> I was told Quintius was a cultist, but I never thought he'd be foolish enough to lead me right to the heart of his mystery cult. Oh, don't play coy with me. I don't care if you're worshipping Bacchus, Magna Mater, or Christ. You lot are all the same to me. Always sneaking off to your secret sanctuaries, indoctrinating each other with your little mantras. The Emperor may have tolerated your activities up until now, but after what Quintius did, those days are numbered. Okay. We're not told this. That, but if you're not a cult, then why go to such great lengths to keep this place a secret? 
to keep people like you out, bro. So you admit you're not allowed to leave. Now that we're allowed to leave, we physically can't leave. There's no way out. Threatening me is not going to help you. But in any case, that sounds an awful lot like a cult to me. And I saw the inscription saying, the many shall suffer for the sins of the one. I take it this is some kind of mantra you all believe? I don't believe it. Uh, a distinction without a difference. You've clearly been indoctrinated into this nonsense. Now tell me, where did you lot get enough gold to make all these statues? It's a curse. You lot are practicing human sacrifice too. You people disgust me. My dude, just please. You're destroying yes, yes. what I said. Because I'm the real villain here. It's all clear to me now. The secret sanctuary, the indoctrination, the mantra, the human sacrifice. You're cultists. There's no doubt in my mind. What baffles me is how a person can believe in something with such zeal. They just can't see what they've become. However, you still have the a chance irony. to redeem yourself by telling me where Quintius is. Bro. Do not waste it. Very well. Here's what I know. He's a 40 to 50 year old man with distinctive eyes, one green and one blue. He's also known to have delusions of grand. I haven't met this man. The Emperor says he and his cult, your cult, are responsible for starting the fire which burnt half of Rome to the ground and killed thousands in the process. Who are you to challenge what the Emperor says? Were you there? Do you have spies and scouts all over Rome, like he does? No, you do not. Man, this that insight didn't help at all. Chance. Are you going to tell me where he is or not? <sighs> then you're of no use to me. Do you have any last words? And there's a simple explanation for that. I lied. But if you want to know the truth before you die, here it is. Once I'm done with you and Quintius, I intend to kill every last one of you. Okay, well. Degenerates. And I can think of nothing I'd enjoy more. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Where am I going? Breaking the golden rule isn't the end. Reloading a save. Instead of reloading a save, we recommend following the magistrate instead. What? Follow Sinius back to the shrine and use this portal again. Oh gosh, that's a long fall. I think I took a wrong turn. So we hit our first fail state, which that was interesting. Huh. Yeah. Really interesting game. 
Salve, friend. Mind telling me who you are and why you look like you've just taken on a gladiator and lost? I'm Theo, and we've had this conversation before. Uh, I don't think so. I've never seen you before in my life. Your name is Galerius. I think I'm going to have to go through this portal very, very soon. Because I'm about to freak some people out. Oh, Bacchus, how much did I drink last night? Uh, uh sorry, sorry to have bothered you. Oh, and uh, since you seem to be in a hurry, you should try out this device I made. Worked real hard on it. Device? Zipline handlebar. Just attach the pulley to the rope over the lake and hang on to the handles. If it works, it'll be faster than walking. And if it doesn't work, worst thing that can happen is you'll take a swim in the lake. I haven't quite summoned the courage to test it myself. But don't worry, it's completely safe. Probably. So I wonder what would have happened if I didn't make it to the teleportation thing. Also, let me get some water with lime. I'll be right back. Melodious, um, welcome. Hope you're doing well. As you can see, I have water. I have key lime juice. And as you can see, I'm about to combine the two. Here we go. Bake it up a little bit. Hmm. Best redeem ever. Best redeem ever. So around. we have a zip line now, which is going to be very interesting. Um, you talked about going over like a river or a lake. Let's head down here. Not eat the cabbage. Good-looking goat. I'll talk to that guy next. Wait, no, this is my buddy. Yeah, I can hear you. Is that you? These statues are kind of freaking me out more than anything. I feel like I'm about to get murdered down here. There's the 
sound of a sword unsheathing. There's definitely some shenanigans afoot somewhere close to where I am. Handsome. Ah, oh, you're here. I'm so glad you decided to visit. I'm Aurelia, and uh, I hope I'm not being too forward, but the moment I laid eyes on you, I was intrigued. There's a light in your eyes I've never seen before. A certain learning and sophistication. People say that. I've got like 2,000 years of sophistication under my belt. Compared to you. What was that? Some kind of joke? If it was, it wasn't funny. I take back what I said. Suddenly, I don't find you so intriguing anymore. Mission accomplished. Ever happened, so we can at least do business. So, what brings you to my tavern? Yeah, what's your story, first of all? Let it go. Nothing's going to happen between us. You know a way out of here? You know, normally, I'd expect you to buy me a drink before asking if I want to get out of here. I guess that went right over your head. Never mind. As a matter of fact, I do know a way out. Okay. I'm happy to tell you all about it, but this is valuable information we're talking about, and I don't just give it out like some cheap oracle. So, how badly do you want it? Why does everybody want a thousand denarii? That's a second person. Simple. It's a one-way trip, and I'm not ready to go just yet. I like my life here. One day, maybe, but not now. Well, I can't tell you too much, or you'd figure it out for yourself. But I promise you, you'll never have to spend another hour in this city ever again. If I took your money without giving you what I promised, I'd be breaking the golden rule. That's a good I? point. And I have no interest in doing that. What's the matter? Can't afford it. Well, no, a thousand denarii is a lot. Especially when I have zero. has lent money to others on occasion. Heard any interesting gossip? For ten denarii. Have you met Livia? She used to do my hair until one day she just snapped. This place has that effect on people. Now she just I didn't even think I attended Nari. She filth muttering nonsense to herself. It's a real shame. Now I have to do my own hair. I hear that if Maliolus is elected, he's going to throw a small festival to celebrate with entertainment and everything. Can't wait to find out what it is. There used to be a midwife here, Naivia, but this place drove her mad as a menad. Said she could hear the statues whispering to her. I need to find Naivia. Fortunately for us. She locked herself in the palace weeks ago and hasn't been seen since. Good riddance, I say. Whatever you like. Okay. I just try she not to respects think about it. it. Drink helps so. with that. As the saying goes, to drink is human, so we drink. All right. See ya. So she wants a thousand denarii. Cerberus lifts his triple head and lets out his threefold gray alien. Livia, would you stop muttering like Medea over a cauldron? You'll scare away my customers. They follow their traits, imitating their previous lives, but they are ignorant. This again. You're in a world of your own, aren't you?
Let the buyer beware. Going upstairs. You stay away from my money. Perfume. Steel chest. Not just yet. I love unless you want me to slip some hemlock into your next drink. Get out. Let me talk to Livia. Just as the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world, so this place accepts all the souls. But it does not notice the crowds that come. What's your story? The bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Some crowd the forum, some the house of the ruler of the depths. Others follow their trades, imitating their previous lives. Yeah, I have no clue what that means. They never do. There is only a downward path, gloomy with fatal yew trees. It leads through dumb silence to the infernal regions. There is only... Help me. You cannot help me. I have seen things. A pattern, a terrible pattern. It is better for you if you remain ignorant. Pandora's Always everything in this game is really closed. on point. I'll say no more. She's not going to be for the golden rule, obviously. The bloodless shadows. This is their punishment. The newly arrived are ignorant of the road before them. So she obviously knows quite a bit. Delirious for Magistrate, countered by, I would rather drink Aurelia's special brew. <laughs> okay, so this is um, Delirious's place. A love poem to an unspecified woman. My life has been tortuous as the seven labors of Hercules. Orphan, defeated, and enslaved, yet I would suffer it all again gladly. Because each loss, wound, and tragedy brought me to you. Radiant as Rome's sacred flame, your bright warmth nourishes my soul. I know I can never touch you any more than hold Vesta's flame. But to watch and love you from afar, bathing in your glow is enough. It's actually not a bad poem, thanks considered. I'm not gonna steal this man's money. Speaking of money, how much do I have? I have 125. Oh, can I use my flashlight? Does this freak you out? The 49 Ooh. melodies fetch a game with incessant labor. The water they have lost. I was hoping somebody threw coins into that thing. So this whole getting turned into a gold statue thing seems to be pretty bad. Because you're still conscious. Melodies fetch again but you can't move. Incessant labor. Like you're still technically alive, but you're just a statue. Galerius loves Aquidia, countered by fornicate with her and we all die. Jeez. So is this truly like a cursed city where they can't even, you know, mate with one another?
This might be Livia's place. Key to the chest and shrine of Apollo. So, Shrine of Apollo, where exactly is that? I'm sure we will find out in due time. I don't think there's anything else that I can get here, at least easily. I really need to find this Livia person. Not Livia, but, um, what's her name? Maybe it is... Navia, that's who I'm looking for. Forty nine melodies fetch again with incessant labor. The water they have. Now I was hearing noises down here. Which they did seem a little concerning. I have two bottles of wine. Also getting super lost in this cavernous area. The bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Okay. So this is Livia's room. The place is called Accursed. Here Tidios offers up his innards to be torn, stretched out over time fields. Over nine fields. You, Tantalus, cannot catch the drops of water, and the tree you grasp at eludes you. You, Sisyphus, attack or pursue the stone that always returns. Ixion turns and follows after himself and flees, and the forty-nine beliefs who dare to plot the destruction of their cousins, their husbands, fetch again, with incessant labor, the water they have lost. I think my goal for this run is just to kind of explore down here and get a feeling for where I'm going. Oh, they were about to fight. Maybe to crouch. These might be climbable if only they could support my weight. Well, that's kind of foreshadowing, because they wouldn't be here if at some point I wasn't able to climb them. At least that's... These whispers! Ooh. They kind of freak you out, because you're just walking around and all of a sudden you just hear something. So the zipline does work.
How do I? Nobody better say that's witchcraft or something like that. Be like, oh, you gotta kill him right now. He's, um... Don't steal anything. Don't hurt anyone. Don't. Whoever wrote this didn't get a chance to finish, evidently. I guess it still... is up to the jury whether, um... Can I break the golden rule or not? Am I technically considered a citizen? In that regard? Um... Anyway. Go to Pandora's box. Priestess was right up here. and may Vesta watch over you. I'm Equitia. To what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? I don't, I'm afraid. It seems to me we're exiled here until the gods judge us, one way or another. See you again soon, I hope. Now, they mentioned Caesar's... Keep an eye out for Centilla, would you? One of these Isn't is Caesar's. The temple majestic? Watch us through their eyes. Nothing out of the ordinary out here. Warning. Danger! Do not enter the cistern. See Demidius for details. Well, I'm bold, I'm not stupid. So I'm gonna hold off on doing that right now. Note to Octavia. An anonymous friend to Octavia May the Lord bless and keep you. I'm sorry I could not risk discussing this with you in person, but if I'm right, then you're a believer like me. You may not be able to worship openly here, but know that you're not alone. If you ever feel like you need somewhere to pray, there's a special place waiting for you deep in the caves behind the theater. Turn right at the first fork and again at the second. Let me take that. Can I not take it? It's no doubt unpleasant cooking with such poor ventilation, but Romans probably regard that as their servant's problem. Oh, jeez. Wind pouch? Very curious what's in there. I'm also Fresh me, huh? You shut up. That door is locked. 
So I'm gonna hook a right. On your best behavior, I trust you. Eye on things, Horatius. As always, Priestess. Any news about Centilla, Navia, or Cabal? I'm sorry for any of them. Yeah, I really need to find Navia. I think that's going to be the big thing that helps me make progress. What's going on here? Think of, uh... I'm locking myself in. Don't try to follow me. Nothing good will come of it. I have arrows. I just need a bow. The assassin's bow. Okay. So I'll have to get the assassin's bow at some point, which makes sense. So. It's a matter of how do I get to the assassin without him. I wonder if he got to turned to gold, if I could still take his bow in that situation. Also, very curious that that didn't count as stealing right there. Pretty big boulder that guy's carrying. I don't know where they were talking about with Octavia, but they said hook a right and then another right. Salve, friend. I'm Octavia. Uh, Welcome to life under the golden rule. It's a ghastly thing, is it not? How are you faring so far? Feel a bit on edge. In a sense. If you're not on edge, you've not been paying attention. But on the bright side, once you've been here a few months, it's... Well, it's slightly less terrifying anyway. We've all been where you are now. I remember when I first arrived. I used to lay awake at night contemplating the big questions. Why am I here? Is there a way out? What is the golden rule and who or what is responsible for it? I still don't have any of the answers, I'm afraid. I don't think anybody does. But I'm happy to share with you what I've learned. Eh? What's your story? Here in this place, the magistrate has me earning my keep by cleaning and pruning the gardens. It's not quite how I expected my life to go. I used to live in a lovely villa on the banks of the Tiber. I was even betrothed to a handsome young man from a prominent family. But long hours of menial labor for the good of the community has its own charms too, I suppose. Okay. How do you end up here? the same way as many of the others. When the fires came to Rome, Seven months ago. So My those fires have been brought up a couple times now. To escape on a barge. We were among the fortunate ones with enough coins for passage, but unfortunately, there were a lot of desperate people. And they boarded before we could depart. A scuffle broke out, and I was pushed overboard. The last thing I remember was the water rising up to hit my cheekbone. I woke up by the river, near that shrine and stumbled across this place. Hmm. It's also very interesting that I woke up on a riverbed and pretty much everybody, not everybody, but at least most of the people I've talked to, when I've asked them how did they get here, they're like, oh, I stumbled up on a riverbed. Oh, that's all right. I'm sure it's all part of God's plan for me. Oh, much the same. We were a scuff. I woke up. He said something very interesting right there. Oh, much that we were. Can I not? Oh, that's all right. I'm sure. Darn it. 
Let's talk about something else. I am curious. Please, please keep that to yourself. Yeah. I know you're not from around here. Things are very difficult for us right now. There was a terrible fire in Rome last year, and our emperor decided to make us his scapegoats. There were executions. It was horrible. Oh, thank you. You have no idea how much I appreciate that. Hmm. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. I think about those words a lot. I'd like to think that if we all love our neighbors as ourselves and do to them as we'd have them do to us, then we'll all be fine. But on the other hand, I was always taught the intent of man's heart is evil from his youth. Jeez. And that all of us are born with a tendency towards sin. And that's where I get stuck. Is it true? Are we born with a tendency towards Maybe like a light tendency towards sin, like not bad sin. I don't think man has an inclination to kill other man just, um, you know, out the gate. You don't think that's a little naive? Hmm. I suppose you've never seen what I've seen. Innocent men and women, torn apart in arenas while thousands of Romans look on and cheer. I stand by what I said. I wish I shared your faith. There have been a lot of incidents. Like, I think the tainting process for a soul is pretty easy. But I think overall, like, if you just, you know, I think it's kind of like an instinctual thing where I'm not even religious and, like, I just don't have an inclination to hurt people. Like, you know what, we're not going to go into my moral quandary right here. Let's just keep playing the stupid game. I'm afraid not. <laughs> Although, I did once hear someone gossiping someone down at Aurelia's tavern about a possible way out. I don't put a lot of stock in such rumors, but if you're desperate and wealthy, you could look into it, I suppose. If that doesn't work, then I suppose we're all stuck here until gods, uh, the gods decide our fate. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I meant gods, of course. All right, well, it was lovely to meet you. I look forward to getting to know you better over the coming months. And if you ever... I can't believe this is how it ends. No! Oh, no. No. No, 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 no. I, I want to talk to you what first. Are you doing? Get back from there. If you lose your balance, you'll fall. That's the idea. What? Why? Why would you want that? Why do you think I'm stuck for the rest of my life working for a man who treats me like an animal? I know, I know things are hard for you right now. They're hard for all of us. We're all in this together, Alpheus. Please, please, please just think this through. If you do this, it could be the sin that seals all of our fates. Is that what you want? I'm sorry, but I just don't care anymore. Please, Alpheus, help him. If he goes through with it, it could be the end for us all. I don't know what to do. I've never had to deal with this sort of thing. Please, you need to talk to him. Thank you. And please, choose your words carefully. Let me guess. You're going to lecture me on how suicide is a crime against the- Nah, she already did that, so that's not the answer. I screwed up my life. That's what's wrong. I borrowed money, and when I couldn't pay it back, I wound up in debt bondage. I'll be stuck slaving away for that Culus Cumulatis Maliolus for the rest of my life. I am out. Wherever you are, Centilla, my love. Centilla. I'm sorry. Alpheus, no! I said one word. went through with it. I, oh lord. That poor lamb, he doomed us all. Well, 
I suppose it means suicide isn't a sin under the Golden Rule. So I guess this that means whichever god is responsible for it. It isn't mine. Hmm. Is that my fault? That was not your fault. There's no way you could have given him what he wanted, moments after you arrived. I'll have to let everyone know what happened. And I guess Maliolus will have to clean up the mess in his villa. It's of his own making, after all. So Maliolus' villa is right under us right now. Jump? One a second. Okay. Game wants me to jump. Seems like a pretty bad idea, but we're gonna go ahead and do this. Thank you. Thank you. I am delighted and deeply honored to have been elected to your magistrate. Magistrate. So did that dude not die? Opius to his lost love, may God watch over you. Please know that I held on as long as I could, but without you, my life is meaningless. I only hope we meet again in Gone Eden. So that's from Opius. Yulia. Yulia to her captors, Malius and Claudia. Curse you to the depths. By the time you read this, I'll already be dead. Because death is preferable to any other day in death bondage to you. May vultures peck out your livers in Tartarus for all eternity. So Molly... Okay, Claudia as well. some point. The thing I'm confused about is old dude who jumped. What happened to him? This person who fell here died a while ago. Just leap into my villa from the balcony a hundred feet above. That was either. He's got the green and blue eyes, so he's the cultist. Clever. Well, why have you risked life and limb to see me? I'm Maliolus, and if it wasn't for this interruption, I'd be practicing my victory speech for the election later today. What will you do if you win? Must. Why not? I'll finally restore freedom to this city, just as I've been promising. These good people <laughs> have suffered long enough under Sentius's tyranny. How will you do that? By declaring there's no such thing as the Golden Rule. It's a children's fable exploited by Sentius to frighten us into submission. Wait, don't tell me you've fallen victim to that monstrous lie. Golden rule is definitely real. Nonsense. There's no way you can prove that. If it was real and you'd seen someone break it, then you'd be dead already. Shh. 
surely you're not one of those people who believes everything you read. As if a lie could be transformed into the truth by the simple act of writing it down. True, but that is simply because you are mistaken. You mean the children's fable exploited by Sentius to scare us all into doing what he wants? How am I going to convince this guy? I'm afraid not. We're stuck down here together, for better or worse. We're all going to have to make the best of it. What if I could make the golden rule happen in front of him? I trust you can see yourself well, out. Well, that's going to... Through the door this time? There's a key just beside it. Still here. What if I told you I'm from 2,000 years in the you future? You again. I'm... I'm the... But... I trust through... So there's a key beside the door. Ah. Oh, what if I can go upstairs and, um... Use the key and get to the sobbing person. Please work. This is who I think it is. Be in here. Talk. What business could you possibly have with me? Are you locked My in the room? My marital affairs are no concern of yours. Thank you very much. I think a better question is, why am I being interrogated by a stranger who just barged into my villa? I have quite enough marriage trouble already, without having to explain to my husband why I am receiving strange men in private. Fair enough. Preferably the way you came in, by which I mean, please leave. I think it's about to be broken if you don't hurry up and leave. Wow, okay. Finally, this is outrageous. Anything in here? A lot of, um, it's a lot of money. We will, um, we will make note of that and get her to give us the money at some point. So... How much money do I have right now? 483. Where's this Caesar thing? Also, who was the priestess? If I knew who the priestess was, then I could go see her. I thought it was this lady that was standing right here not too long ago, but apparently not. Sometimes I stare at the great temple on the bluff, and I think whatever is in there, has to be important. Ah, a new face. Salve, and welcome to a little community. My name's impossible to pronounce for most people, so you can just call me Virgil.
Look, I haven't done anything wrong, if that's what you're thinking. Somebody just has a problem with my preference for male company. And then you grow up in the north as I did, in the city of Novio Magus. You expect a bit of hostility. The Batavi are not known for their tolerance. I saw enough friends killed or driven away to know the cost of not keeping your personal affairs to yourself. So I hit who I was for... what was it? Nearly ten years? Watching what I said and where I looked. But that kind of fear eats away at you slowly, until living isn't any better than the thing you were afraid of. Needless to say, since I'm now living underground, halfway across the known world with an assumed name, my openness didn't go down well among the enlightened folk of the Batavi. Nice of you to say, but not necessary. In any case, the Romans are far more accepting, and among them, I get to be who I am. Or at least, I thought that was the case. It seems I was wrong. Uh, it's not just graffiti. I have quite a collection of handwritten notes too. The strange thing is, I keep my personal affairs to myself. I've never really been interested in any of the men here. Not my type. So I'm not sure what I could have done to upset this person. If I had to guess, I'd say it's probably one of those cultists. Cultists? Strange bunch. They insist there's only one God, and that the Christians he considers my nature a sin. Can you believe that? If there are any of them here, they won't admit it. Not since they supposedly burned down half of Rome last year and went into hiding. Interesting. All I know is if these threats keep escalating, eventually my secret admirer is going to cross a line and break the golden rule. All right. What? Well, really, I. I, I have a couple that. leads. I know. I know a couple Christians it's a pleasure to meet in the vicinity. I'm glad you arrived when you did. I'd start by figuring out who the cultists are. Or maybe ask around among the merchants here. Someone who lives or works in the forum must have seen something. But if you find them, please don't hurt or humiliate them. I suspect they're just confused. Let's see what I can do. Well, I'm an architect. Or oh, at least I was back in Rome. That's probably too grandiose a term to describe what I do here. Help out with repairs and try to stop old buildings from collapsing on people. That kind of thing. Um, speaking like of an old building collapsing on people, we might be able to use your help. Or mysterious history of this place. You mean the Great Temple? This one's a bit of a mystery. Given the way it's positioned so prominently, Looking down on us, it's clear that whoever built it felt it was the most important temple in the city. Unfortunately, someone else went out of their way to keep its purpose a mystery. You see, usually a temple is dedicated to a particular god, like Proserpina or Diana or Apollo. Usually, that god is obvious. But in this case, it's unknown. There's an obelisk out the front, which probably used to bear the name of this unknown god. But it appears some barbarian defaced it. And of course we can't get inside because it's locked up tighter than the Temple of Saturn in Rome. And that contains the treasury. So we're all left wondering, which god is that temple dedicated to? And could it be the one responsible for the Golden Rule? Unless somebody figures out the way inside. I suppose we'll never know. I don't know if any of this is really important. Gladly. Personally, my favorite thing about this place is the aqueducts. Those series of adjoining arches. They're an ingenious feat of Roman engineering with a very practical purpose. They take fresh water coming from outside the city and distribute it all across the chasm. It's funneled below the palace and into a cistern below beneath the, the great palace. temple. Some of it flows down into another cistern beneath the villas, and the rest is funneled to the shrine of Proserpina, where it fills the lake and allows us to fish and farm. If they bring water into the city, could we use them to escape? Hey, not so loud! 
just talking about that could anger the gods for all we know. I'm not saying it's impossible. But you'd have to find a way inside somehow. Just... please, try to be a bit more discreet about it. Of course. So that wasn't worthless. Well, Maleolis is talking about loosening some of the restrictions in this place. And while it's all a bit vague, at least he has a vision. My vote isn't for sale, if that's what you're asking. Some people say it's divine, the work of a god. But I'm not so sure. It just seems so flawed to me. It is like very um, flawed and human. I mean, once you've been here long enough, you'll notice people doing things that just seem so wrong to you. But this so-called god doesn't seem to care, which means one of two things. Either you don't know the difference between right and wrong, or this unknown god doesn't. And I'm pretty sure I know the difference. Do you? I think so. Then I hope you'll agree that there are only two ways of dealing with unfair rulers. The first is to leave. The second is to remove the ruler from power. And it seems leaving may not be an option. How do you remove a god from power? Good question. It's best if I say no more, but I hope you'll give it some thought. Nice to talk to you. That's an interesting thought, so maybe the solution is just... Is this just a JRPG? Am I just going to kill God at the end of this? Shovel. Probably used to kill somebody in some instance in this game, if I had to guess. Virgil. They may not see you, yet I want you to know I see you. Because he did have multiple ones. I know who you are and what you want. Turn away from this path before all suffer your sins. Do you really want to be responsible for the sin that destroys us all? Make sure you stay away from that empty shrine. It's going to collapse at any moment. How do you know that? Any news about my secret? Oh, that... Nice to talk to you. Well... That's right. If this lady goes in there... Well, maybe I can tell her it's going to clap this time. Are you serious? This is an emergency. Are you going to help or not? Are you daft or just callous? If you don't stop him, we're all going to die. You. He's still in. I have to hide. Don't what? go in there. Why? Trust me. All right. Um. Fine. Come and find me in my bakery instead. Please be careful. I had to know. Continue from last save. How far away is my last save? Good. Beware, shrine may collapse at any moment.
A Greek statue, probably of the goddess to whom this temple is dedicated. Perhaps a local Greek resident knows about her. Look at this. Look at this. Boys, girls, did we find something? Did we find something big here? Flashlight. Oh, a Greek Lear. The person who lives down here is probably Greek. This place does make me very nervous, so. Yo, bro. What are you doing here? Ah, a visitor. Welcome, welcome. May I ask your name? It is. What the heck are you? It is best you do not know my name. Merely to speak of my existence in the city above could bring destruction on you all. Tell me, what brings you all the way down here? What are you doing all the way down here, bro? Then perhaps the fates brought you here to learn the secrets of this place. I will tell you everything I know, but first, a request. I have been living down here alone for many years, with nobody to talk to but myself. The one thing I long for above all else before I die is a good philosophical argument with somebody astute. I'm hoping that person is you. Let us find out with this simple question. Have you deduced the name of the god responsible for the golden rule? I have not. Hmm. You have much to learn. It's best if you figure it out on your own. Come back once you've made progress. Let me explore everything down here and then I can work my way up. Ah, you've returned. Bathtub? Creepy looking door. Ah, you've returned. I am loving this game, though. There's just so much intrigue and just interesting aspects about it. Um, I don't think I'm going to get anything more out of him, so let me go ahead and... This is just a big shortcut. That it is. But this guy knows about Greek, which would help me very much... Um, Decipher. Ah, you've returned. That whole god thing. I will do the one let us. Hmm. Then you should speak with your contemporaries in the city above. Ask them about their stories and see if you detect a pattern of some sort. It is best if you come to this realization for yourself. You would never believe me if I told you. Let's get out of here.
And we're also going to be calling it pretty soon. I need to get dinner. Um, excuse me? I got through. Okay. There we go. Anything else here? I just want the bow. Stop right there. I am looking for Tiberius. Thank you. For your service to the Empire, I'll let you live for now. But you'd best make sure our paths don't cross again. came from originally? That's got to be a clue of some sort. Oh, I should have led him to the thing. I'm dumb. I am so dumb. Can I load my save? So did this one. Oops. Nope. Oh crap. 754 is kind of a long time ago. Oh no. Um. 756. Should have been paying more attention to the timetables. I'm gonna assume I have to re-talk to this guy, which shouldn't take that long. Right down here. And yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send the assassin to his death. And I technically didn't kill him. Come and join me by the fire. Welcome, welcome. It's just, tell me. Then. I'm just gonna quickly redo this path. I wasn't thinking when I was talking to the guy. I didn't even process that my lie was going to kill him. Which will, um,. Consequently, give me his bow, if I had to guess. The game is crashed? Are you kidding me? Well... You know what? I've got to do that, because I'm not going to remember next time I play. So we're just going to very quickly do that again. As long as I can do it all in about 10 to 15 minutes, I'm good. Still need to get freaking dinner. I am so hungry. Game has crashed. Hogwash.
Oh. For the third time. Turn around. Run this direction. I feel good about choosing the archaeologist. Archaeologist. I don't know why I said archaeologist or whatever what I was about to say. But the extra info seems to help. I already moved pretty fast, so I don't feel like I'm, you know, getting punished for not choosing the 25% faster movement speed thing. Stop right there. Thank you. For your service to the Empire, I'll let you live for now. But you'd best make sure our paths don't cross again. You gonna just march all the way through town with nobody, literally nobody doing anything to um stop him? Find who? Emperor Nero has ordered the execution of cultist named Quinticus with different color eyes. Okay, and I can take this one. Those arrows. So I guess I should talk to the lady now. What was that new goal? Okay, yeah. I'm going to um, highlight that one. I also need to talk to old lady. Where's the... Oh, she makes bread, and the bread shop was right across the way. You there. I'm sorry to trouble you, but I couldn't help but notice that fine bow you're carrying. No idea how you managed to get your hands on it, especially in the light of our dear old magistrate's ban, but I'm impressed. And before you ask, no, I wouldn't dream of trying to buy it from you. I have no use for a wooden bow myself. But I would like to propose a joint business venture of sorts. Do, do you have any idea how people here end up as golden statues? Well, between you and me, I found an old scroll from years ago, hastily written, in which the author claimed something extraordinary and terrifying. He wrote that when the golden rule is broken, statues spring to life all over the city, wielding golden bows, and begin firing golden arrows at the inhabitants. Supposedly, one or two of those arrows is enough to turn a full-grown man into gold. Now, of course, that is a travesty, a terrible, horrible waste of human life, which has to be stopped. Oh, he want a yes, you scumbag. Hand, I can't help but think of a tale told by that Greek fella, Aesop, the goose that laid the golden egg. With the ability to transmute organic matter into gold, one could create infinite user imagination, golden animals, insects. Now, um, the drawback is everybody dies. Did you forget about that part, bro? We are talking riches beyond imagining. And even if we were to split all those riches between the two of us. Look, 
I might have skimmed over that one, but don't be so pedantic. Are you interested or not? No. Oh, I'm not suggesting we use such a bow on people. There's no profit in breaking the golden rule. Excellent. So the first question is, how do we get our hands on one of those golden bows? Now, I have a plan. But first, tell me, are you familiar with the story you of the You and your stories. Diana? Not really. No problem. Allow me to explain. Diana is our goddess of the hunt, the moon, and the underworld, depending on who you ask. The one thing priests and poets agree on is that she carried with her a golden bow and a quiver of golden arrows. And it just so happens that there is a shrine of Diana in this very forum with a prominent statue of the goddess herself. And would you like to guess what she's holding in her hand? A golden bow. Precisely. I can't tell you how many hours I've spent in that temple staring at it, trying to figure out how to retrieve it without breaking you know what. Oh, gods, no. If you tried that, we'd all be dead within moments, I'm sure. No, here's what I propose. You give your bow to me. I cover it in a thin layer of gold leaf. And we That's still stealing. Then you enter the shrine, extinguish the braziers, and under cover of darkness, swap out the fake for the original. It's not theft, exactly. It's more of a, a trade. But make no mistake, this is a dangerous path, and there's no way of knowing where it will lead. But in my experience, all the best adventures begin with a risky first step. Now, you must have questions. Ask away. When Prometheus stole fire from the gods and became a hero to all mankind, do you think he was worried about the danger? Remember what happened to Prometheus? Only because he was silly enough to get caught. So, are you in, partner? Wonderful. Now, if you'll hand over your bow, I can get started applying a layer of gold leaf. This is a quality... And here we are. A gold leaf bow. Now I've gone and unlocked the Shrine of Diana for you, so as quick as you can, head on inside. It's just at the end of the street on the left. May the gods not watch over you. May the gods not watch over you. Pretty cute. Okay, Breadmaker. I need to talk to you. Actually, can I save here? I'm gonna save right here, and that way I'll know to talk to her next time. That's gonna do it for us. Um, thank you guys for hanging out. This is a real fun game. We will continue it next Sunday. It takes about five hours to beat according to how long to beat, which honestly I find that side a little inaccurate. But my goal is to get through it next. Why was that sound redeemed cursed? That sounded super weird. Like it sounded like a freaking um like creepy pasta version of what it was supposed to sound like. So I'm gonna have to look into that. <laughs> that scared the crap out of me, stars. But anyway, thank you for um thank you for the sub. Um you're going live pretty soon, right? I assume in the next like 15 to 20 minutes or so. Fifteen minutes. Oh man. I can go for another fifteen minutes. <laughs> Hopefully the place doesn't get too mad at me for um you know coming within thirty minutes of close. You also welcome Murda. So Stars and Duck, I think um some aspects of this game, you might not even be into the game game per se, but the fact that this started as a Skyrim mod, I think is very interesting. An accident? So, it's over? Oh God, that's such a relief. I really thought we were all going to die. I, I do have a question though. That shrine, the one I was going to hide in, did you? No, it was going maybe to I knew, maybe I didn't. I don't understand. Oh, I see. I should probably keep my big mouth shut then. 
Ray, I promise. Duck, I'm doing okay. I don't know if you read the stream title, but I ran a half marathon today just on my own. I'm glad you're here. And really did think I was going to have to go to the hospital for a hot second there after I got done. Need anything? There's not much to tell. I mostly just bake bread and try to help out where I can. I suppose it all started about eight months ago. I was living in Rome with my family when I got sick. Terrible timing. My pa had just arranged a husband for me. A fisherman's son. I was about to meet him for the first time when I came down with an awful fever. I spent the next week in bed. Pa paid priests to make offerings to Asclepius, a white rooster, then a goat. Asclepius. In the end, they decided I'd do better outside the city. Clean air in the countryside would do me good, they said. But after about a day in a carriage on the Appian Way... Sorry, that's how it is with a lot of games? Like, games that I assume are just kind of like chill or boring tend to be really entertaining for other people to watch? I was in a forest by a river. I suppose the driver took off with his fee and left me for dead. Can't say I blame him. I wouldn't have wanted to catch what I had either. Anyway, I went searching for help, stumbled across the trapdoor temple, and trapdoor here temple. I am. It's nice of you to say, but you should save your sympathy. Lots of people here need it more than I do. Nice, Duck. Um, what have you been doing to start, like, working out again, I guess? I have no idea what's going to be after Breath of... <laughs> I, I was kind of laughing when you put that poll because I kind of genuinely thought it was going to be a 50-50 split as far as like continue Breath of the Wild or have like an interim game and then it was just so lop lopsided towards Breath of the Wild I was like oh gosh <laughs> and I was like Star probably has some feelings she doesn't want to say right now <laughs> let's see any idea who's threatening Virgil that might be a good one mm, terrible shame that is maybe this will help Late last night, I was cleaning my oven when I heard some noises outside. The forum's usually dead quiet at that hour, so I came out to see what was going on. To be honest, I thought maybe poor old Dooley had got out of his cell and was snooping around again. Who's Dooley? So I popped my head out and saw someone in front of Virgil's shop. I couldn't tell who. It was too dark. I called out to them, but they just turned and ran off without a word. All I remember is they ran past a lit torch, and the light glinted off something metallic. Armor, I think. Uh, I oh, it could only armor. Be three people. Horatius, Demetrius, or Rufius. I hope that helps. Okay, that does help. Um, All right. Going? Thanks again for taking care of our problem. I won't forget it. Normally I do a lot of lifting, but I've been doing super light weights to get my body conditioned to go hard again and running a bit each day. That's good stuff. Like, um, I know a lot of people, especially a lot of guys like doing heavy weights, but I'm personally a fan of, um, low weight, high repetition. And that's kind of less mill, the company that teaches, or I guess does the classes that grid is a part of the class that I teach. They have one called Body Pump, and it's all about low rep, low rep, high repetition. And essentially the goal is to get 800 plus reps in by the end of class, which is a lot, but... Oh, he wants me to take this bow. I don't know if I'm ready to take this bow yet. The door is locked? Okay. Guess we're doing this. I have a real bad feeling about this. Now, how do I... S like, my goal is to swap the bow, but how do I do that?
that's a lot of historically i do stick to higher weight lower rep yeah i mean it's different approaches to the same goal roughly gotta be something i can do swap out the bow but i don't I feel like I'm being really dumb right now. Inventory. Fake golden bow. Aha! Turn to Decius. Is that you, partner? Do you have the bow? Wonderful. Yep. Just go ahead and slide it under the door for me and I'll unlock it for you. He's not gonna unlock it. And yet you did. And now here we are. With me out here and you in there. Until you give me my bow. <laughs> no, technically, I never said that. I said if we were to split all those wow this scumbag oh i'm gonna figure out some way to get him murdered real bad you're just gonna have to take your chances i'm afraid the bow now and don't even think about giving me the fake one i'll recognize my own handiwork I will find a way to kill this man at some point. Hmm. I would reconsider my position quickly if I were you. I'm not sure if you noticed, but you're stuck in there with a hornet's nest, and they can be rather aggressive toward intruders. You know, some say it takes 27 hornet stings to kill a man, but I always wondered how anyone could have known that. Let's find out if they were right, shall we? Oh, let's let's go after they escape from there. Oh, this is dope, though. I really wasn't expecting this twist. <laughs> Find a way to return to the city. Sponge stick. A small stick with a sponge attached. This must be what the Romans use instead of toilet paper. Oh, let me put this back. <laughs> yeah, best to put this back immediately. Uh, bunch stick. You learn something new every day. the algae okay I kind of thought that's where she was going with it I wasn't sure this is dope okay let me get on top of it Navia's Journal, Volume 1. My beloved Galatea, I write this so that one day, when we're finally together, you will understand what I've done and why I had to do it. The others will call me mad or a monster, but I don't care what they think. Everything I'm doing here, I'm doing for you. I'll start at the beginning. Soon after my arrival here, as I walked down a corridor lined with golden statues, I thought I heard a whisper behind me. Okay. A rasp of air, as if vocal cords of metal strained to say a word or two. I tried to dismiss the idea, tried to concentrate on my work as the city's medic, but that tortured whisper haunted me. So she's the medic Weeks of later, the city? In the hallway to the bathhouse, I heard it again, 
and found myself drawn to the statue of a Roman woman wearing a stola. Her face was contorted with anguish and fear, and disturbingly, it was as if she was looking right at me. As I walked past her, I heard that strange... Getting set up, I'll see you on... All right, stars, thank you. I discovered that even though I had moved, she was still looking right into my soul. That was when it dawned on me. This was no statue. This was a woman trapped within that golden prison. Naturally, I told the others, but when I could not reproduce the results of my experiment, they would not believe me. But from that moment on, I knew the full horror of this place. Immobilized within these statues are living human beings. It was that day, my love, that my heart broke. Well, she has seen some stuff. If I had like a pickaxe or something, maybe I could get through here? There's clearly something on the other side of this. Let me check my inventory. Because now that I understand how the inventory works, it's something I didn't quite understand before, but... I can actually use these to my advantage. Um, but like I said, I still need something to break through there. Hold B. There we go. Um, that's a big jump for me. I guess if I sprint. Also, I wonder if these butterflies have anything to do with anything. Well, that was lucky, and we're not going to try that again. Can't do a running jump. There's got to be a way out of here, though. Yikes. Okay. <laughs> we're getting close to something big, I can tell. It's a matter of... Figuring out what said big thing My is. Beloved Galatea, I write this so that one day, when we're finally together, you will. Oh shoot! I just had to make it into gold. I'm an idiot. I, I, I am so freaking dumb. Do it. The others will call me mad or a monster, but I don't care what they think. Everything I'm doing here, I'm doing for you. I'll start at the beginning. Soon after my arrival here, as I walked down a corridor lined with golden statues, I thought I heard... It's also really nice of them to use that butterfly motif to make it very obvious. A rasp of air. Why can't I vocal cords of metal. pull out the bow? Golden bow. Select. How do I equip it though? Full strain to say a word or two. I tried to dismiss the idea, tried to concentrate on my work as the city's medic. Oh, okay. Richard whisper haunted me. Weeks later. I misunderstood. I have to use quick select for the bow. I found it again and found myself drawn to the statue of a Roman woman wearing a stola. Her face was contorted with anguish and fear, and disturbingly. It was as if she was looking right at me. As I walked past her, I heard that strange whisper again. And turning back, I discovered that even though I had moved, she was still looking right into my soul. That was when it dawned on me. This was no statue. 
This was a woman trapped within that golden prison. Naturally, I told the others, but when I could not reproduce the results of my experiment, they would not believe me. Okay. But from that moment on, I knew the full... So we are very close to meeting Nivea. Immobilized within Nivea. the statues are living human beings. It was that day, my love, that my heart broke. I've got to see if stars is on. I'm doing my absolute best. Yes. Okay. Stars is on. This is a good place for us to end. You guys are going to um, essentially get her little starting soon message, but no, she will be starting very soon. And she's a great streamer. She's currently playing through Zelda Breath of the Wild. Um, anything else? I will be back either Tuesday or Wednesday, still kind of debating, with either Ratchet and Clank or Devil May Cry 5. We will definitely return to this next Sunday and hopefully finish it. Other than that, thank you guys for hanging out. I hope you guys have a good evening, and I will see you shortly.